number one. I'm out here at the lake once again. I thought this would be a good backdrop. This is the lake that's pretty near my house. I just wanted to uh, make a little video here. It's a kind of a compilation video of all the things that I did through the summer and uh, all the different gold rings. I found a lot of gold rings this year, 11 gold rings uh, just in a matter of three months and a gold chain and uh, had a really good summer. And I thought I'll put one more video together, kind of recap all of that. So I hope you sit back and I hope you enjoy this video as much as I had making it and going out and finding these gold rings. So until we see each other again, I just want to say happy hunting and God bless and enjoy the video. Well, I was getting a 37 to a 51 signal and I looking for a gold ring, but I didn't get a gold ring, but I got a, looks like a 14 karat gold uh, chain. Pretty nice, check that out. Yeah, finally got me some gold. Uh, I'll take that, well that's shiny, that's heavy too, that's got some weight to it. A 14 karat gold chain, look at it. It says 14 karat right there. It's upside down, but you can see it. And it has these little cuts on it that looks like it's got diamonds on it, check that out. We're gonna weigh it and see how much it weighs too. All right, I got my scale. Let's turn it on. It is zeroed out. Let's put on the gold. And we're gonna have 27.9 grams of gold. If I can get that to focus there. It's gonna be 0.98 ounces, almost one ounce of gold. What's gold running for? Nine, eight ounces, almost one ounce of gold in that chain. Woohoo! Well, I was making my way back from waist deep up to shallow water because I'm making my way back to the truck. And uh, I got a 66. I'm thinking it's going to be kind of a beaver tail. I've already looked at it, guys, but to check that out. That is a gold ring with a green stone and a heart. But then I got tungsten, I got silver, I got gold. What else am I going to get? Yeah. All right, man, that's going to be nice. Well, I moved on to the second swim area. I was at uh, the other day and uh, found that James Avery ring up in the shallow. I decided to come back out here today on my day off and uh, work the uh, barrier here in the middle. And I'm about, you know, shoulder deep water and it's getting a 44. And I've been digging pull tabs up as a 44. But check this out, guys. That, I believe, is white gold diamond. My eyes are not good, but I do see a marking, but I can't see what it is. It's got a spacer on the bottom of it for a, a, a finger was too small and they put a spacer on it. But that was ringing up a 44. So that means it would either be gold or stainless, but it sounded like gold. Stainless does, sounds a little bit different. And, uh, and I'll get back to the truck here in a little bit and get my camera and zoom in and see if that's going to be a white gold uh, um, diamond ring. That's nice, isn't it? That is real nice. So, uh, missed it last time or it's been dropped since then. It's been about four days. I was back here, here on Monday. Today's Friday. So, uh, I don't know if I missed it because uh, it sounds like a pull tab. Um, but, uh, hey, I'll take that. All right, let's keep on going. Well, I was getting a, about waist deep water, a 51, 52, real choppy, jumping around just like a, a square pull tab would do. And I like to quit on it twice. And finally, I got it up. It took me forever because I'm on this hard clay base. It's hard to scoop out of this stuff. And, uh, man, 51 was ringing up. It's a 10-karat gold ring. Well, I'm on a roll. This is my number. What is that? One, two, three, four rings for today. And got gold, silver, and tungsten and stainless steel. All right, I'll take gold anytime. All right. I'm out here in shoulder deep water. Went took me a break, came back out here. I was getting a 50, I mean a, a 69 to a 71. I think it's gonna be one of those aluminum caps that's kind of bent over. And at first I thought it was a tungsten ring and then I, you know, just finally I got it up after a few minutes. Guys, that is a heavy, heavy 14 karat gold ring. That's my second gold ring today. That thing is heavy, man. Uh, 14 karat, it's got another uh, maker mark in it. I can't see it though, but I saw the 14 on it. That thing's got some weight to it. It's a thick ring too. Look at that. Man, it's just turning out to be an awesome day. This is my fifth ring, second gold ring. All right, let's keep going. Well, I um, haven't found too much since that titanium ring. I made my way around and came back around and just working this shallow water, probably about uh, mid-shed 
deep. And let's get the 51 to the 55, sound like a pull tab, but I'm just digging everything right now. But I can look down on the ground. You guys see that? It's right there. Check that out. It uh, stained on this side. It's, uh, I see some markings in it right there. I can't read it. Maybe it says 10K. Uh, it's got nice diamonds on it. Check that out. It's ringing up like a gold. It's in the 50s. I think it's going to be 10K. 10K will tarnish if it's been sitting in the water a long time. It looks like it's got lake stain right there. I'm hoping it's going to be a, uh, not gold-plated silver, but I hope it's going to be a 10K. I have to show it to you at the wrap-up. Once I get uh, a pair of eyes, I can see that little marking right down in there. It's right there. I can't. Well, I just went up to get a, a drink to stay hydrated. I got about an hour left before they closed the park, but I checked on that ring, and it wasn't a 10K. It was a 14K ring, so I'm going to check those diamonds, see if it's real. Uh, it kind of surprised me that it's it's tarnished on that bottom, but it's on a red clay bottom. And it's been there for a long time. It's just sitting flat. And uh, so we're going to double check it when we get back in, clean it up a little bit. So that is my third 14 or second 14K out of this lake and, uh, and one 10K. And my uh, third 14K ring in the last week. And uh, I found a gold ring and a necklace. I mean, that chain. I've, I've been on a gold run here lately. So... Maybe there's one more. Let's see if we can get one more ring before time's up. Well, I've been out here five minutes and made one sweep down and come back and uh, I got a little ring here. It's ringing up a 42 to a 45. And I can't tell if it's stainless. It's showing to some diamonds in it. And it's got a marking in it, but I can't see what it is. So uh, I'll have to look at it later on when I get in the truck and I'll tell you at the wrap up. But hey, that is going to be ring number uh, seven for this video and the first one here. So that's a good sign. It was real quiet. I didn't think there would be anything out here. And, uh, and then got this one signal and boom. So now I'm going to stick around a little bit longer and, and uh, see what else is out here. So let's keep swinging. Well, I'm out here about waist deep water and it's just about ready to call it quits. And I got a 42 signal, real jumpy. I thought it was going to be a piece of, uh, like a piece of can slaw. And that's what's kind of over on this side of the lake all the time. But it ended up being a gold knot ring. Check that out. I can't see the marking on it, but I'll let you know a little bit later on. But definitely it's gold. And uh, so that's two small rings. It just goes to show you, even though it's quiet out here, and this has probably been hunted before I got here, if you go slow and you dig all those iffy signals, this is what you get. All right, let's keep on going. Well, I'm working myself back out at the lake here, and uh, I got a 43 solid signal. And uh, boy, what a beautiful, uh, beautiful ring! I can't see the markings in it, so I don't think it's stainless steel. I think it's actually a white gold ring, and I don't know if it's 10k or 14k. I have to look. And uh, but that's a beautiful ring right there. I tell you what, I hope it's gold, just because it's gold's better than stainless. But uh, when I get back to the truck here in a few minutes, I'll look and see if this is uh, gold or is it going to be stainless and uh, and we'll go from there. All right, just kind of making a few more sweeps through here uh, and so we'll just keep on moving. All right, I'll see you at the next find. I'm out here a little bit about mid chest deep water. I was getting a solid 45 and it uh, turns out to be a gold ring with a little design on top. It's my second go for the day. I can't see the marking on this one. See the 14 or probably going to be 10. But I'll take gold any day. All right. Well, I came to this third swim area. Didn't find anything at the second swim area. Came out here where I usually start like waist deep. Got a 42. Couldn't get it up because the bottom's really, really rocky. So I moved on down the lake. Came on back. I said, I'm going to try to get that up. That was a good 42. Didn't sound like trash. And lo and behold, I dug it up. And it's a little bitty ring. Check that out. And I actually think it's gold. I think it's going to be 10 karat. I know 10 karat gold will tarnish if it's in the water long enough. But I can see some yellow coming through that. We'll uh, get up to the truck later on and look and see if we can find a, um, a mark on it. 
but I think you can see the edge right there. That is going to be a small gold ring. I mean, it is small. It's like a baby's ring. I was getting a uh, 47 to a 50. Get off me, bug. And uh, check that out. That is going to be, I think it says 14 karat. Another 14 karat diamond, gold diamond ring. About waist deep water here. So this is turning out to be a really good day. And uh, I still got a lot more to cover. And I still got one more uh, swim area to go to on my way home. And uh, so this is one of those, these lakes, this one of three, three lakes I come to after Labor Day uh, every year. And uh, usually pays off pretty good. Everybody's in school, so you get it to yourself. And so, uh, so far, so good today. Let's uh, let's keep on swinging. See what we come up with. Mm -hmm.